Hello everyone and welcome back to another video about building wooden model boats. Today's video is going to be a little different than the ones I've made previously in that it's just going to be a brief overview of the latest kit I build, a half hull planking tutorial I purchased from Model Shipworld. It's been a very good tutorial. I've really learned a lot. When I put this together I did not want to make a uh, a video at the same time as it would divide my time between making a video and building and I really wished to study and learn a lot about planking and it did that. It's been a very good tutorial. In my next, in the videos after this one, in my next boat build, I will spend a lot of video time detailing the lessons I've learned on this kit in my next one and uh, we'll look at it then, some of the lessons learned. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Model Ship World, nor do I get any support or anything from them. It's just that it's been such a wonderful website, build forums, and lots of discussions that I just want to pass along the information to you I've learned from these. So with that, let's get in to take a look at this overview. So here's the finished product. Actually, it was I took a little bit of time to put this together. This piece of wood I had left over from another project and so I just scotch taped it on temporarily here. I'll figure out how to mount it permanently later. But this is the kit as it comes. It's a pretty bare bones kit and I'll show you some of the bits and pieces that I have. As you can see it's a very nice flush fit down here and I've often wondered how those guys do that. And it turns out the same thing in here. These kind of tuck right in very nice and we'll talk about how that was done as well. And then we'll talk about the garbered plank and the strake and the whale and uh, how this was all done. And there's a pattern in here too. The planks can only be so long uh, in real boat and so there was a pattern associated with that and, and that showed how they did that. So when I received the kit I opened it up and laid all the parts out and it wasn't any particular special box and I consequently didn't uh, didn't take any photographs of it, so you'll have to bear with me on this. The kit came with the usual laser cut frames, and I pulled them out and separated them, and it came with this uh, 11 by 17 piece of paper, and what you're supposed to do is take this piece of paper and glue it to a styrofoam board, which I did. Here's the first picture I took of the styrofoam board. You can see I'm kind of halfway through the planking and a lot of the board has been cut so my clamps could reach in and hold the wood down. But that's the photograph I have. And then the first steps are you take these keels and keel them and you lay them along this, this photograph right here. And you got to do some beveling in there for when you lay your garbered plank. And, and here you can see how the beveling is done. You mark the wood with a pencil and then you take an X-Acto blade or whatever other tools you have and you cut a little channel for the planks to fit into. Those grooves are typically called mortise joints. And once you've installed a mortise joint into the stem, the keel, and the aft assembly, it's time to glue them to this piece of paper. And at that point you start thinking about putting on the frames. I bought these little mechanical squares and that helps hold them on and you go and you put them on where these little red lines are and you install them on and once they're all installed it's time to start the planking process. Here's a photograph showing the channel before any planks are installed and you can see how the planks are being installed one by one as we go through. And here's the finished product where this channel has been cut in here and all the planks have been put in one by one. And the channel actually goes all the way down the, the row here and this is the garbered plank and it goes into a channel as well. And here at the stern it's the same thing. They all come down and they meet. It makes a very nice smooth transition all the way along and it really is going to improve my future boat build. This has been a very good uh, lesson learned. <clears throat> This kit comes with a digital manual which I downloaded and there's a couple of key paragraphs on the relationship of uh, scale model boat si uh, plank size to real boat plank size. Real boats would have a garbered plank at around 14 inches which is a good sized piece of lumber and for our scale boat here uh, 1 to 48 it, it drops down to about a quarter inch of width. 
And a typical plank would be about 9 inches wide, and for this boat then it's about 0.2 inches or a little less. And uh, depending upon the availability of lumber, the length of the, of the real planks on a boat would be anywhere from 20 to 25 feet long. Then there is the aspect of uh, how you put the butt ends together on a boat. You don't really want butt ends next on top of each other for the, for the ability of strength on a real boat. And you don't want them to have in between the, uh, the frames for strength as well. So you want to put the butts on the frames and then you want to kind of space them out for strength. And so this kit comes with a uh, four plank butt scheme where they repeat the pattern every, uh, every four planks. And I followed that. It uh, was actually a little bit difficult. I had to skate, write it out, and then draw it on a, on a piece of paper and then keep track of uh, which planks went where, especially if you're kind of putting planks on this end and then while they're drying, gluing them down, and while they're drying, you'll put planks on this end and you work together. And I, I got confused a little bit, but it's, it's not all that difficult. It just takes practice. And since this is the first time I've done this one, it kind of eluded me a little bit. So let's talk about planking. Often kits come with these pre-cut planks that are supposed to go onto here. But when you lay them flat, they don't quite work so well. And this thicker piece is hard to bend, so let me do with this thin one and see if I can show it. When you lay this plank along here and you keep it all flat, it has a curve up there. Let me zoom in and show you what I mean. As you can see here, it's laying flat. It goes up instead of straight like these other planks. And if you were to hold this down so that it goes along flat, it gets a curve in there. It kind of sticks out a little bit. It gets a curve. It's hard to see here, but trust me, it doesn't work. So what you want to do <clears throat> is cut the plank with a curve in it so that an anti-curve as it were so that when it does lay flat it doesn't curve up like that <clears throat> and the way you do that is on these frames you make marks where you want the plank to go then you lay a piece of tape over the plank and you mark on the tape where you want the plank to be and then you pull the tape up and you lay it on a sheet of plywood like this and then you cut, the, you cut the, um, the tape out and you get a plank that lays straight. And a lot of these curves look like this here, and it's called spiling the wood. So the wood is curved, yet when you lay it on the boat it becomes flat. And in the beginning, when I started the bottom up, I, my planks weren't the right thickness. It starts thick here in the middle, the standard width, but a little bit narrower in the bow. So I was struggling to get everything right and it didn't curve and it didn't tuck right but as I got along did more planking I got better at it so I can't say that I'm a planking expert but I got better through this kit and in my next boat I will do even a better job practice makes perfect and I think I need more practice I've sure enjoyed working on this kit it's helped me understand many of the principles of planking that I haven't understood before I see so many experts online with their boats looking beautiful, their lines are all cut smooth, they're all tucked nice and neat in there, there's no putty being used. And now I have a goal in mind to create those kinds of boats and I have now the tools to understand what to do. I won't be making museum quality boats anytime soon, but with that goal in mind I'll start working towards that. I now know what I need to improve. I need my lines to be cut better, I need the planks to be closer together, the width of the beam is one width and typically at the bow they're more narrow and so I'll focus on those items and then the end result will be much better. And if you're interested in building bolts or in planking, let me encourage you to use Model Ship World. Wonderful build logs, lots of help. And if you're interested in this planking model, I will put a, a link in the description below for you to take a look at. And in the early uh, at the early parts of the boat, I didn't take any pictures, and so I contacted the author of this kit, Tony, and she sent me a, a couple of pictures that I didn't have to make this video more clear, so I sure appreciate that. And also, this is an overview, which is not like my other videos, much shorter and doesn't have as many details, so 
Let me know in the description if you like this shorter overview or if you prefer to have the details associated with it, and of course, and then a longer video. So let me know. So with that, we're done. God bless. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time.